Yay, day two of quarter two orientation. It's your favorite history teachers. Ready for another chance to go viral. That's what we're really <laughs> that's what we're here to do. I think we need to have our own like YouTube channel first. Um, but I guess we could figure that out. Yeah, I think we could. Um, so we wanted to make this video to give you a rundown of some things from yesterday um, and then the plan for today so that you know what to expect uh, and you can let us know if you have questions once we've run through and you've watched the video. Yeah, so we were recording this at the end of the day on Monday, having taken a look at um, some of your survey results, but also like figuring out more about how rubrics work in Canvas. So we wanted to give you some kind of up to the date like info about um, what we're learning from you and also from uh, the course as we build it out. Exactly. So first on our list is the survey. So this this is the result that meant the most to me. Um, and that was that so many of you like feel that we care about what you think, which we so do, mm -hmm. like probably more than anything else in our teaching is that we care about what you all think. Uh, and so that was really like validating to me. Um, and also if you're if you're in the two or three range, let us know what we can do to like express our care more. Um, cause this is something that's really important in how we teach the other graph that related to that. We're going to come back to these in a second, um, was feeling comfortable asking for help. Uh, cause that's a hard thing. And that's something that takes practice and, um, being patient with yourself and, and figuring out how, how do I actually express what I need? Um, and so, so this is something that I'm glad that a lot of people do feel comfortable. And I hope that, that more and more of you feel comfortable every time we work together. Uh, and then the other screenshots. Um, Can I say just like about like if you are in like the one or two range, just think about which way is most comfortable for you to ask for help. Um, some students really like to just you know call Miss Bedell into a breakout room um, and say I, I just like I just like to work one on one in the breakout room. Uh, other students um, you know like to do it in different ways. But I, I would encourage you to think about phone calls. Uh, obviously, I mentioned text messages a lot. But just kind of think about what's the what's the way I feel comfortable. And then the last plug is just for screenshots. Uh, anytime you can use a screenshot uh, to share with us what you're looking at, um, it's so much more helpful because uh, we can like literally see it from your perspective. Exactly. Exactly. Um, so some of the other things that I just felt like were probably relatable to kids was like thinking about like procrastinating and forgetting about things. And we're going to go over like another one of our sort of practices as teachers to help you not forget about things. Um, and think about how to stay stay on track there. Um, you know, also like noticing like when you have trouble staying on task, and and this is kind of this just happened to be next to each other. But thinking about like doing warm up warm ups that relate to what we're doing, so that it's like a smooth like we start and this is where we're heading, and then we keep going into it. That can help with that staying on task. Was that a suggestion from a student? Yeah. Oh, very cool. Yeah. yeah um, great suggestion. Yeah. And then um, this was another. Thing that someone expressed that they need and thinking about like an easy support system because it's a this is challenging history is really challenging and so i just i'm really grateful that this student shared that and i hope that we can really like create a classroom environment and a connection with with us as teachers so that this is this is how you feel when you're working one quick connection um that i just saw is for for uh, an easy support system this uh pair deck for today is about the weekly schedule um, and so we're hoping you know having learned some things about how things work in quarter one making it just like really routine every week and so today's one of today's tasks will have you learning about the weekly schedule and so i'm hoping that that becomes an easy support system so everybody knows or this this student in particular knows okay monday this is always what happens you know here's how i can get help on tuesday that kind of stuff exactly so also, like if you haven't filled out the survey yet, which we discovered there was a thing with the embed mm -hmm. on the page with, with Ooh, the Canvas this assignment. One. Can I show them? Please. Oh, hold on. That was the wrong thing <laughs> to draw two green lines. Um, so we figured out today, thanks very much to Mr. Pixton's seventh grade students um, who helped me figure this out, uh, was that when you were on today's assignment, yes, Monday's assignment, I should say, day one assignment, if you didn't like happen to scroll down on exactly the right spot, like right here up and down, it was really hard to get to this next button. Or of course, then, you know, on the last page, the submit button. And so um, a whole bunch of people completed portions of the, uh, the survey from the day one, but didn't actually um, have the opportunity to hit submit. 
just because like they were scrolling up and down over here and, and it just took them straight to this section. Sorry, this probably looks like one of those like, you know, quarterback drills on, from the NFL. Like, and then we're going to run around this way and make sure to come up the middle. All right. Let me see if I can get some of that out of here. Um, anyway, big picture on that is that we're going to email a link to the survey. Um, <laughs> okay, I think I got all of them. <laughs> ah, now it's doing that one again. Uh, we're going to email a link to the survey to anyone that didn't complete it. Please do take time to check your email today. That's the, one of your first tasks is to check your email. Um, it, it, you'll have an email that says, yes, you submitted it, or you'll have an email that says, please, you know, take a moment to submit it. And, and then that'll actually just be a link that takes you to Google Forms. So we're not messing around with this scrolling issue on the Canvas page. Cool. So that's the survey. We are so grateful to those of you who, who shared with us already and can't wait to hear from more of you. Do you want to talk just a moment about like how that's like a good example of how like we have to be a little flexible? Yeah, like we are, sorry, I'm just trying to zoom out a little bit. We are learning all of these platforms along with you and, you know, getting student feedback and seeing when things don't work as well as we had hoped. Like we want to know that so that we can adjust and flex with all of you and just know that like it's not going to be perfect and that's okay. We all make mistakes. And um, and we're just grateful for all of you being flexible with us and letting us know when something glitches and is weird and, and we're happy to problem solve with you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, so next one, um, we wanted to share with you some information about rubrics in Canvas um, because this is another example of a space where we're learning more information. Uh, are we all done over there? Okay, let me do this one. Nope, not that one. I meant this one. No. Ah, now I've got more space. Um, we wanted to talk a little bit about rubrics in Canvas because we're going to start using them um, and we didn't really know what they look like uh, from the student perspective. Um, so when you get to uh, Canvas, a lot of times you'll see something like this that is your dashboard and it'll take you to a dashboard that says like, hey, check it out. You've got a new announcement or look, look over here. You've got some feedback. And so this is a student who turned in their assignment and I was able to go in and grade them on a rubric and put this little comment. Um, and so this is a great place to, to look. Uh, it, it, it seems like it takes you here first uh, for most students. Um, and, and you have to look and to find uh, you know, feedback on, on an assignment that you already did. Um, you'll see here, this student got four out of four points. Um, here's the comment that I made uh, for that student. And you can click on there to kind of get more information. Um, the thing about the dashboard, though, is it's not this part right here. It's not going to actually have every last assignment on there. It's only going to have the graded assignments. And we're going to have a lot of assignments that are activities that really, really are important to get you ready for the graded assignments. And so that's why we want you to make sure that you go to the courses and then the home page. Um, and we can kind of show you that real Right here. So if this is um, this is like when you when you're on the dashboard, it'll show you um, some of that information that we were just showing you. Um, but when we when when you're ready to start uh, start your your history work for the day, make sure to go to courses and then home and um, come on down below the picture to the to the today's assignment. Um, or you can look in modules and you'll see um, all the assignments that have been posted, all the different activities. And we'll try to be thoughtful about like, you know, if there's an important assessment from the week before, like still linking it, because we, you know, we clear this out every week, um, but, you know, that doesn't mean that all the assignments from the week before, like don't matter anymore. So, um, so something we can, you know, either choosing a, an emoji or something to make it so that when you are in modules, you know what to look for as the graded assignment. Well, they're also over here too. Um, and so like on this to-do list over on the right-hand side, um, you'll see any assignment and, and we're learning how this works, but you know, um, it, it looks like things like the announcement get posted there. If you've read that announcement or you want to get rid of it, just click on the X to get rid of it to kind of clear out your to-do box. Um, same with this, uh, you know, orientation day one. If you've already done that, you know, you can X out of it to complete it. Um, but that'll, that'll help you to kind of, you know, keep, Keep that organized. But that'll be the organized. same as the dashboard. Uh huh. And like we're we're learning how to how to keep that clear for you guys too, so that only the important stuff is up there. 
Um, but we're kind of learning how this works and want to make sure that we're making it make sense for you guys. Um, I think there was something else on this one. So once you get to, um, once you get to an assignment, you're going to see your score. Sorry, we have to do screenshots of this because it's a student perspective. <laughs> You're going to see your score, and then you have to click on this uh, show rubric button right here to then see the rubric. And it'll say, oh, like, check you out. You got uh, a four out of four, and here's what that means. This will be really helpful because we're going to use these same rubrics and assess on them multiple times. You should definitely not expect to score a three or a four on the first time. You guys should expect to be scoring ones and twos on the first time you assess on a standard. The important part is to know, okay, now that I'm at a two, how do I get to a three? A lot of times it's usually just a small thing, but if, unless you know the difference between a two and a three, it's hard to know what to fix. So that's why this is important to be able to see that. Anything else? No, it's feeling good. All right, so then we're on to today's tasks. That's kind of fancy. That's wow. <laughs> wow, this machine is very smart. Um, okay, so here's today's tasks. You will be doing? A Pear Deck. Hopefully feels familiar for those of you who are with us for quarter one. Um, to just kind of run through what our weekly schedule is going to look like, get some feedback. I know you've been giving us a lot of feedback these two days, but we really value it. And like, that's, you know, as we're um, building our quarter two classes, we want to know what's working and what ideas you might have. So the Pear Deck is all about our weekly schedule, thinking about small groups and how we're using our small groups. Yep. And we've got Padlet. Padlet, I think we're going to have them do social introductions kind of based on like a, if you were an animal or something. Yep. And so you'll be able to choose an animal, get an image, talk about why. It's meant to be a time to just interact with each other. Yep. If you guys were in a classroom together, you would get to know each other. And we want to create that space here. Because you'll be working together in small groups. And if you know people, you're more likely to work with them yeah. uh, or, or work better with them. Yeah. So that's that's what the, the social one in the middle of the Padlet for fun is. Yeah. And the doc upload is going to be um, a combination of practicing uploading a Google Doc, which we did at the very beginning of quarter one, but we didn't end up using it that much. So we wanted to do a refresher. There's like a fun activity that's part of that uh, that's very short. And then there's also going to be a question related to our next unit. So you have a chance to say like what you might know already and what you're looking forward to learning. So for that, you're going to have to um, make a copy of a document. You're going to have to download it to your computer, make a copy of it, and then upload it back into um, uh, Canvas. There will be a short video there if you don't know how to do that. So it's like, oh, okay, I need, I need help with that in particular. But if you've already done it before, it should be easy. Um, you just have to you know, find the document, make a copy of it, edit it, find, find it when you upload it, and, and we'll show you how when we get there. Awesome. Thanks so much for your time this morning, and we hope that you have a wonderful day two of orientation. Uh, tomorrow we're on to a regular schedule, and so we'll be jumping into some content, but I'm really glad that we have these, these couple of days to, to get to hear from you and share uh, how we're hoping to build the program for you. All right, historians, we'll catch you on the flip. <laughs> Historian. <laughs>